Happy Thirsty Thursday, guys. Uh, Dan here. I um, just decided to pull a sample out of one of my sour beers. This was one of my first sour beers, one of the uh, first three batches that I did. Uh, this is the one that oxidized really bad on me. Um, I'll put a link down here somewhere. Uh, the the uh, fermenter turned purple. Uh, it oxidized really badly. Um, that was after six months or so. Um, I kept on, I uh, held on to it, and uh, about two years, uh, about a year and a half after that, um, I tasted it, and the cardboard flavor seemed to be going away. So what I did is I racked it into uh, some fresh wort, along with some ECY20 dregs uh, from a, a fresh EC20, ECY20 batch that I had going. And um, I think that was about six or seven months ago, um, and I pulled a sample of it, um, and here it is. Uh, I chilled down the fridge a little bit. Um, that's a trick I learned from Michael Tonsmeyer's book on um, sour beers, uh, American sour beers, uh, to chill down your your samples, and uh, that's good advice. It uh, I think it works better sampling when it's a little bit cold. <coughs> so let's get a nose on it. So on the nose, it's got a slightly earthy kind of funkiness, along with uh, kind of a wine-like character to it. And um, a little bit of like a like an apple fruit flavor, maybe a little bit of stone fruits in there as well. So let's let's give it a taste. Cheers. It's uh, really intensely sour. I'm not picking up much on the oxidation. Um, I did listen to um, a podcast uh, from men about it. They were interviewing somebody who uh, learned a trick. Um, to help with oxidized uh, like imperial stouts in a barrel um, some people some brewers will put a little bit of wort into their barrels um, and uh, perhaps some fresh yeast I think um, to get a fermentation going towards the end of the beer's life and uh, supposedly that will clean up a little bit of oxidation character um, if that's the case it certainly helps here as well I'm not sure if blending is what uh, is mellowing it out. It might be a combination of all of the above. Uh, but on the flavor, uh, you get a really intense sourness. It uh, almost burns going down the throat. I think it's got a little bit of an acetic acid character as well, um, but it does have a lot of nice fruit flavor, um, some kind of green sour apple. A little bit of a, kind of a cherry, like a sweet cherry. There's definitely a sweetness to it. Um, that's, that's actually kind of good. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is the burn on the back of the throat. Uh, it's not an alcohol burn. I don't get any high fusel alcohols. Um, I think it's an acetic acid burn. Uh, you do get a slight vinegar flavor in there, but it's um, it blends well with the fruity flavors as well. So it's not complete vinegar or anything like that. So I'm going to do another test with this beer. Uh, this is something I was going to do with my main Solera beer, but I think I'll do it with this one first. Uh, I'm going to take a gallon out of the fermenter, and put it in a, a bucket, five gallon bucket. Uh, fill it up with four gallons of more wort. Uh, let that go at a little bit of a higher temperature, maybe around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, for about three or four days, and then pitch uh, some USO5 to fin out, finish out the fermentation. Um, that's how I stepped up my original Solera beer, and it turned out really nice that way. Uh, the USO5 gives it a nice clean ferment, as opposed to Belgian ale yeast, which will throw off a lot of uh, esters and stuff like that. When you throw off those esters, um, you get a different flavor profile when you uh, pitch with USO5 you almost get a lambic kind of uh, flavor profile uh, that mimics an aged lambic because aged lambics will uh, those esters will break down and in a, in a lambic be consumed by the Britannomyces uh, so that's a little trick that I learned uh, from doing my my original Solera so I'm gonna do the exact same thing with this um, and see if I can kinda consistently get go from one gallon of, of really sour beer to five gallons of 
moderately and hopefully good sour beer. So um, stay tuned for that. Probably going to be an update in maybe another three months on that. So cheers. Um, happy Homebrew Wednesday and Thirsty Thursday and whatever else it is. So cheers.